Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We have a little rigmarole thing to do up on this crane here. Oh no no this is the wrong crane, that's right, it's on the other crane, that is okay. But anyway, all I want to do is go back to the other side of the ship. Uh, actually, 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 did I go down in here yet? Um, because there's three of these that I can go down into. Yeah, I did. This is the kitchen. Eh, everything looks the same. Everything. Everything. Oh, this I didn't do yet, though. It's this one, yeah. It, they're a little bit shinier, the one that you can break through. That's a little hint that you're able to do something with them. And there's a jiggy in this room, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. I somehow missed that one on the bed. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, there's... Be careful, though, when you get this jiggy. Yep, Ah! Oh, that's all you have to be careful. You have to do a rat-a-tat wrap as you're entering that little cubby hole to pull it off, but I failed you know, on my timing, but it's okay. Alright, what else we got in here? That's it, besides the golden feathers to refill after my boombox usage. Okay. Now, I'm, basically what I'm going to be doing here, this part, is going around each of these cabin type places and seeing what I can find uh, just to make it as organized as possible basically okay I was in that one because I broke it open so yeah basically I'm saying basically a lot I know but uh, what I'm aiming to do here is to only do things um, as I go because otherwise I'll forget where I last was if I just keep breaking stuff apart as I go so yeah, just do things in a nice pace. I didn't know you were in here. That was cheap. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Well, maybe not that cheap because there's you know there's a honeycomb. I mean, ways to get honeycombs here. And be careful of this pipe right here. For some odd reason, it uh, it prevents you from actually getting up there rather easily. I don't know why they have that there. Maybe that's why because it's. It just makes it a little bit more annoying, but you got to be careful not to overshoot your jump because of the chomp. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah! I did see that down there, but I just kind of overshot my jump back down. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are good. Can I get up here from? Yes, I. Oh, oh, oh. From here, yes, I can. And there's also this from a little bit of secret type thing. Don't think I'll forget that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's another way up up back through there if you'd like to see as well. Um, if you should have difficulties getting up that way, you can go on top of this box here, flap flip onto this pipe, and then just hug the wall the whole way through until you get back up here. That's probably the easier way of doing it. I just thought I would do the fancier way, though, I guess, even though it took me longer. Uh, which one of these can I break? Probably neither, because I don't think they're any shinier than the other one. Nah, okay. Uh, can I break any on the other side, though? Maybe. Because there's a Grimlet over here, and it's going to be guarding. <laughs> oh, I can, yeah, I can break this one. See how shiny it is? Oh, see how shiny it is? Yes. Uh, let me in the porthole. Dang it. Uh, oh, 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 no, you don't. Slow down. There must be a lot of sprites going on around here. Uh, I wonder if the re getting the red feathers is worth it on all the pillows individually. Oh, I've almost got all the notes already. Wow, that's surprising. There is something worth showing you here. Here's Conker's girlfriend from Conker's Pocket Tales. A little bit of a reference to the Game Boy Color game. Note that uh, the, co Ooh! the Conker of that age is not the Conker that we know as the drunken whoremonger. <laughs> so, Conker's Pocket Tales, a whole different style of game. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so where are those last three notes? Probably in one of those side route hatch type things. Probably. Uh, well, anyway, for now, what I'm gonna do is go and get a witch switch. Up over here, there is something to climb, and if you get on top of that this TNT box over here, if I can get the camera to move right... Yeah, see that TNT box over there? Yeah, we gotta get on that, and this is actually the wrong place to get on it. I gotta get onto it from a different spot. 
Uh, this is still possible to do from a different height if you should drop this box. Uh, but it's... Well, actually, maybe not, because it's kind of difficult to get on that crane elsewhere. Hmm. So maybe you just gotta do a really good jump on the rope if you should drop this box out. Uh, but yeah, there's the witch switch right there. This is a tricky one, because you don't have much, much running room to get a running start here. You just gotta do your best. And I did it. That makes a really easy jiggy to get up here over there. And... And... We're going back over. Can I reach the TNT box from here? That would be really handy. There we go. That's nice. Now I'm gonna make a double shortcut over here by whoa 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 by uh going across this crane and flopping down one of these sides. And I do mean flopping down carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. Okay. Now uh, I, might, I should also hit this right away as long as I'm up here. This will make this drop, which sounds like a bad idea, but it actually breaks that open. Which will lead to the boss of the world. Yeah, there's a boss somewhere, and I got all the notes! That means I can die freely, except for the Jinjos! Yes! And I'm gonna be getting the last Jinjo very shortly. And... I can't even see myself shooting the eggs in there. And that just leads for a shortcut back to those locker-type things, so I don't need to show that path or anything like that. This one right here... This one leads to the last Jinjo, and I shot one egg too many, but that is okay. I got trigger happy. And careful, careful, careful. Oh, very careful. Okay. Boop! There we go. Boop! Don't want to fall in the oily water, because I just want to get this Jinjo and get out of there. And we're pretty much home free now. No, I'm not kidding you. We have everything except one Jiggy, and we, of course, will get that last Jiggy from the boss. We got the two honeycombs. One was over in the engine room, you know, when you drop down that smokestack, like, shaft-type place. Uh, the other one was in that secret underwater area by Snacker in that corner that we had to go through, or should say go past, like, 30 times. Well, okay, not that many times, but it was a bunch of times. And the last, uh, all the Jiggies, I already know, I don't want to really want to go over them again. The last one is... Right down here! Whee! You think you're gonna take damage, but no, you're just fine. There it is! Behold! Boss Boombox! You don't stand a chance against my rat a tat rap or do you? Yeah, it splits into multiple pieces. This is one of those splitting types of bosses here. When you get it down to four, like you get it down to these four here, uh, well, after I get rid of this one here, I recommend doing the rest with the power of the golden feathers because it's so much more easier to manage to this when you're doing it like this than uh, otherwise, and I don't know if you're gonna have enough feathers to do it otherwise, so that's why I like to kill them off with the rat-a-tat rap right away off the bat, um, because there's less of them at that moment in time. <laughs> I love his dialogue. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill up on eggs and grab this Jiggy. Look at this, look at this, look at this! I 100 percent of the world! I did it! I did it! The worst is over! The worst is over! Well, maybe. <laughs> well, this is actually the thing that I have the most difficulties with, so, uh... I can't tell you how pleased I am about that. I mean, just just take a look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I did it in 33 minutes. Probably the reason why it takes me 55 minutes normally is because I'm I take a lot of deaths and stuff and stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Such such a sigh of relief. No more oily water. No more instant death engine room. Just sweet, sweet relief. Ah, oh, we're done. We're clear. Well, not quite. We actually gotta get ourselves a little jiggy jiggy. Wait, hold on a sec, hold on. I forgot about this pot here, which creates a shortcut. Which is something that we should be... I probably should have done earlier when I did the switch, but that is okay. And yeah, this will create a shortcut now over to that one there. That's back over where the first shortcut took us, so now all we have to do is go up the slope 
to the very end of that slope to get there, and then we flip-flop over back to said spot happily, and there you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, hold on, I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think here. Where is the path that I'm looking for? Was it actually down that way because I raised the water? It might have been. Because I don't think there was another path back... No, no, it was the other way, okay. Um, yeah, back this way. And, no, wait, down. It's not up, it's down. Through here, because I raised the water, there's now another accessible spot over at that other vertical shaft area. Back down through here. And up through here. Yes. Yes, okay. I remembered! And there's also, hold on, hold on, before I get into that, there's also a couple of goodies over there. Remember that witch switch we hit? Behold, it's right here. Very easy to get. Just as long as you get that witch switch. There we go. And there's also a couple of prizes here, probably, in these little cubbyhole-like sewer drains. I'll just take a peek. Uh, see, that's what they look like, these mesh netting type things. And okay, let's go across, and let's not blow up either, because there's a mine hanging around here. How's it going there, shrapnel? Oh, you're not having a good day. <laughs> Alright, 800 notes? No problem. <laughs> Alright, now going through here, there is something that we can do about this. <laughs> yeah, with the power of the golden feather. Actually, I shouldn't be getting too anal about this. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to clear them out completely. Now, hmm, let's just take a peek see around here. Hmm, hmm. Man, this sure looks like the place for a whole nother world, doesn't it? Hmm, it sure does. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we can do nothing of the sorts regarding here. Or can we? Well, actually, there is actually something. I said actually twice in the same sentence there. <laughs> uh, first, let's take a peek see around this very happy and cheery natural area to find Brentilda. Let's see, favorite pastime, bursting boils, mmm, delightful. <laughs> For a guy called Undead Ed was her first and only boyfriend. <laughs> Finally, when she was younger, she used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. Um... <laughs> Am I stuck here? Um... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was hoping that the thing didn't freeze, but it didn't matter at that point because I, I already 100% of the Rusty Bucket Bay and whatnot, so I am a happy camper now. Uh, needless to say, there's a bunch of bees, uh, well, I should say hives to get around there. And this leads to something that I'm going to save for later. It's another note door, of course. But the thing that I'd like to get is over here. And, uh,. Looking over here, see the switch? Look at this, look at this, look at this! Remember that way, way back in like... Part 3 or something like that? I forgot how, how far back it was, but yeah, way back in one of the earlier rooms. We finally got a Jiggy Podium there. Open and ready to go. Now... So, um... You remember those water switches? That there were ones with numbers on them, one, two, and we haven't seen number three just yet? Well, look at this over here. There's number three switch right there, but how do we manage to get over there? Well, I admit I was holding back a little bit. <laughs> just go through here and up this pipe. The reason why I'm saving this for last is because I like to flop over to the spot that we're going to get very soon here. Okay, get here, and then get un in the water really quick, just to save us as much time as possible. Oh shoot, I'm turned around, and the camera's stuck behind me. Dang it, dang it, dang it! Well, okay, I think I'm still making good time here. Um, not through there, I want to go up through here, yes. And then, wait, wait, no! That's back to, ah, dang it! 
Yeah, I took a wrong turn. I wanted to go back to the Rusty Bucket Bay area because that was a time challenge for something, but uh, I, I ended up taking too much time there anyway, so from the top, quite literally, because I have to go here. So this time I'm going to go and jump into the water to the right. Okay, so I'm going to he he here and then flip flop over there. There we go. It's kind of funny that you can hop in the water during the cutscene like that if you hit the switch on the edge. But you can. It happens. It's a thing. And now, check this out. Check this out. Go up and to the right. High as you can, as quick as you can. Very, very quickly. Go, 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 go. You might have seen this before. Flopping around this room before. Like, exploring and whatnot. Behold! The final Cheeto page in the game! Yes! Yes! How's it going? <laughs> yes, I am! <laughs> This is the first one, and only one, that we can see without a transformation, too. <laughs> oh no you don't, not before I get a cheat code. <laughs> no chance in the world. So, what's the code? It's GOLD FEATHERS, okay? Okay, now, what's a quick way to get back over to World 2? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> so, about those pots. Remember those pots? Oh, watch this. We've now got a shortcut like no one's ever seen before. <laughs> Alright, so we hop down here into this pot. And then we jump. Oops. I always forget I got a flip, flip out of that. We drop down over to here. To this. <laughs> Look at that! We're all the way back over to the area where World 2 is. How convenient is that? <laughs> now, uh, also, as long as I'm going down this path, I might as well unlock the next world. Because you probably know where we need to go. Because I already kind of told you where the thing was. Over here, underwater. Yep. Remember going back through here to get a hint from Ventilda, among other goodies? Yep, look at this, look at this! Click Clock Wood! This is it, right here! Remember we've seen this world way, 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 way early on in the game? We're finally going to be able to play it! But not quite. We still have to enter that cheat code to maximize our golden feathers. And I definitely recommend you do so, because 10 golden feathers is not a lot, really, so... Like, it, the moment you use it, you use one feather, even if you have to use it for a split second, so... It's not like the timer stacks or anything like that. It, it, it literally uses one feather as soon as you turn it on. So, okay, click clock wood back at that highest area that we can warp to very easily is now opened up. But, of course, there is a certain castle to go back to. Here we are again! <laughs> so, oh, and I should also mention, I don't believe that you can enter these cheat codes without actually hearing the cheat codes from Cheeto. So, yes, you gotta find him in order to do this thing of bobber here, if I recall correctly. So that's why I've always waited to do these cheat codes until I actually got the cheat code from Cheeto. Because that's, that's what I recall and that's what I followed. Plus, for the sake of the walkthrough, I figured for progression's sake, uh, you know, you'd, you'd only get those cheat codes to enter at the sandcastle floor at certain moments in time in the game, so yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta find the other letters here. I'm basically respelling feathers here twice. Then again, I spelled. Oh wait, wait, hold on. What? Am... Did I? Wait, hold what? Hold on. H. Did I mess this up? Did I like E R S? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I won't enter anything incorrect. Hmm. Hmm? Ha, huh, I doubt that, Grunty. I doubt that. But we'll see in future parts. So with that, I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part after the black screen transition!